13 Famous Inventors and Their Inventions Have a look at your surroundings. From air conditioner cooler, pencil, and laptop to earphone, charger, and an electric heater, there are so many things that have made your life easy and comfortable in one or the other way. However, have you ever thought that who came up with these unique and innovative ideas? Since the Paleolithic age, there have been scores of inventions and discoveries across various domains. Though different streams, the inventors faced a problem, analyzed it deeply, brainstormed, and presented us with a solution that made a difference in society. Isaac Newton Isaac Newton is considered one of the most important scientists in history. Even Albert Einstein said that Isaac Newton was the smartest person that ever lived. During his lifetime Newton developed the theory of gravity, the laws of motion which became the basis for physics, a new type of mathematics called calculus, and made breakthroughs in the area of optics such as a reflecting telescope. Wilbur and Orville Wright Wilbur and Orville Wright were American inventors and pioneers of aviation. In 1903, the Wright brothers achieved the first powered, sustained and controlled airplane flight. They surpassed their own milestone two years later when they built and flew the first fully practical airplane. Alfred Bernhard Nobel Alfred Bernhard Nobel was a Swedish chemist, engineer, inventor, businessman, and philanthropist. He held 355 different patents, dynamite being the most famous. He owned Bofors, which he redirected from its previous role as primarily an iron and steel producer, to a major manufacturer of cannon and other armaments. Having read a premature obituary, which condemned him for profiting from the sales of arms, he bequeathed his fortune to the Nobel Prize Institution. The synthetic element Nobelium was named after him in the second half of the 20th century. Benjamin Franklin Franklin is known for his experiments with electricity, most notably the kite experiment, a fascination that began in earnest after he accidentally shocked himself in 1746. By 1749, he had turned his attention to the possibility of protecting buildings, and the people inside, from lightning strikes. Having noticed that a sharp iron needle conducted electricity away from a charged metal sphere, he theorized that such a design could be useful. Franklin's pointed lightning rod design proved effective and soon taught buildings throughout the colonies. Like most of us, Franklin found that his eyesight was getting worse as he got older, and he grew both nearsighted and farsighted. Tired of switching between two pairs of eyeglasses, he invented double spectacles, or what we now call bifocals. He had the lenses from his two pairs of glasses, one for reading and one for distance, sliced in half horizontally and then remade into a single pair, with the lens for distance at the top and the one for reading at the bottom. An avid swimmer, Franklin was just 11 years old when he invented swimming fins, two oval pieces of wood that, when grasped in the hands, provided extra thrust through the water. He also tried out fins for his feet but they weren't as effective. He wrote about his childhood invention in an essay titled On the Art of Swimming. Franklin was inspired to invent a better catheter in 1752 when he saw what his kidney or bladder, stone-stricken brother had to go through. Catheters at the time were simply rigid, metal tubes, none too pleasant. So Franklin devised a better solution, a flexible catheter made of hinged segments of tubes. He had a silversmith make his design and he promptly mailed it off to his brother with instructions and best wishes. Alexander Graham Bell Alexander Graham Bell is often credited with being the inventor of the telephone since he was awarded the first successful patent. However, there were many other inventors such as Elisha Gray and Antonio Moichi who also developed a talking telegraph. Steve Jobs on January 9, 2007, Apple Incorporated CEO Steve Jobs unveiled the iPhone, a touchscreen mobile phone with an iPod, camera and web browsing capabilities, among other features, at the Macworld Convention in San Francisco. Jobs, dressed in his customary jeans and black mock 
turtleneck, called the iPhone a revolutionary and magical product that is literally five years ahead of any other mobile phone. When it went on sale in the United States six months later, on June 29th, amidst huge hype, thousands of customers lined up at Apple stores across the country to be among the first to purchase an iPhone. Thomas Alva Edison One of the most famous and prolific inventors of all time, Thomas Alva Edison exerted a tremendous influence on modern life, contributing inventions such as the incandescent light bulb, the phonograph, and the motion picture camera, as well as improving the telegraph and telephone in his 84 years, he acquired an astounding 1,093 patents. Ferdinand von Zeppelin A Zeppelin is a type of rigid airship named after the German inventor Count Ferdinand von Zeppelin who pioneered rigid airship development at the beginning of the 20th century. Zeppelin's notions were first formulated in 1874 and developed in detail in 1893. They were patented in Germany in 1895 and in the United States in 1899. After the outstanding success of the Zeppelin design, the word Zeppelin came to be commonly used to refer to all rigid airships. Zeppelins were first flown commercially in 1910 by Deutsche Luftfahrt's AG, Delag, the world's first airline in revenue service. Samuel Finley Breeze Morse Samuel Finley Breeze Morse was an American inventor and painter. After having established his reputation as a portrait painter, in his middle age Morse contributed to the invention of a single wire telegraph system based on European telegraphs. He was a co-developer of Morse code and helped to develop the commercial use of telegraphy. Nikola Tesla Serbian-American engineer and physicist Nikola Tesla made dozens of breakthroughs in the production, transmission and application of electric power. He invented the first alternating current AC motor and developed AC generation and transmission technology. Though he was famous and respected, he was never able to translate his copious inventions into long-term financial success, unlike his early employer and chief rival, Thomas Edison. He did Lamar. In between starring in biblical motion picture films, Lamar and her Hollywood neighbor, George Antile, would tinker with radio waves in an attempt to aid the ongoing war effort. One evening in the early 1940s, the pair discovered a remarkable technique called frequency hopping. Their invention would allow Allied torpedoes to strike their targets without being thwarted by radio jamming, which obviously attracted a great deal of interest from the U.S. Navy. Frequency hopping played a significant role in World War II and was eventually used to develop Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and GPS. American actress Hedy Lamar may not have literally invented Wi-Fi, that honor goes to Australian boffin John O'Sullivan, but she did discover a pretty important precursor. Henry Ford Henry Ford was an American automobile manufacturer who created the Model T in 1908 and went on to develop the assembly line mode of production, which revolutionized the automotive industry. A common myth is that Henry Ford invented the automobile. This is not true. While he may not have invented the automobile, he did offer a new way of manufacturing a large number of vehicles. His method of production was the moving assembly line. The most common feature of this assembly line was the conveyor belt. The belts were in use within other industries, including slaughterhouses. Moving the product to the worker seemed like a better use of time and resources. The Ford Motor Company team decided to try to implement the moving assembly line in the automobile manufacturing process. Galileo While Galileo is often credited with devising the first telescopes, there was actually a Dutchman called Hans Lippershey who had been making magnification devices using the ever-improving qualities of glassmaking at the time. Allegedly, Galileo heard about this and decided to build his own, even making some improvements in the process. He was also the first person to use these new optics as a scientific instrument, which is where his real value was added. It's no coincidence that some of the most famous inventors come from all walks of life, but what they all had in common was an idea and a vision to deliver what they felt would make the world a better place. 